With the Panasonic G9, you have access to an auto ISO function. And one of the cool things that we've added is the ability to set a minimum ISO and a maximum ISO threshold so the camera operates always in the range that you're most comfortable with using. Let's walk through the camera's menu and show you how to control that function now. So first we're going to press the camera's menu setting. We're going to look at the top tab, which is the photo camera menu. We're going to go to page two. From page two, you'll see an option that says ISO sensitivity photo. From here, you'll see that we have our minimum ISO and it defaults to 200. We're going to go ahead and leave it at 200 for this example. You'll see the maximum setting is set to auto. We're going to go ahead and set that to ISO 6400. So now that we've set the thresholds for our ISO and we know it's not going to go above ISO 6400, you might be concerned that the camera will choose too slow a shutter speed when you're in program or if you're in aperture priority. Well, you can also set a minimum shutter speed with the G9 as well. Simply go into the camera's menu. Again, we want to be in that top option, page two. This bottom option is minimum shutter speed. Right now it's defaulted to auto. Now what you should notice is that the top two options are grayed out. The reason they're grayed out is that this camera is not set to the electronic shutter, it's using the mechanical shutter. So those would not be shot options that you could ever use from the mechanical shutter. As we go down the list, I want to go ahead and set the shutter speed at a minimum of a 250th of a second. This means that this camera will not shoot below a 250th of a second shutter speed now.